And we begin this newscast with breaking news, and we're learning disturbing new information about a deadly police-involved shooting from earlier today. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement now says the person shot and killed by Miami-Dade police was a 15-year-old boy. Oralia Ortega joins us live with the very latest. Oralia. Rick Rudabe, Miami-Dade police have identified that armed robber as 15-year-old Jorge Santiago Tapia. Let's show you some pictures that his sister shared with us just moments ago. The first picture shows a teen 11 days ago celebrating his 15th birthday. The sister tells us she can't believe what her younger brother is being accused of. Police say he not only robbed a Walgreens, but he pulled out his gun and officers were forced to fire at him. The sister tells us her brother, an eighth grader at Coconut Palm Academy, has never been in trouble before and her family is in shock over this. Take a look at this surveillance tape, which Miami-Dade police says shows the teen as he entered a Walgreens off South Dixie Highway and 288th Street just before 2 a.m. He is seen wearing sunglasses, a bandana, and a backpack as he demands cash from the clerk while brandishing his weapon. Police say after the robbery, Santiago fled to an area next to the turnpike on Southwest 137th Avenue, where his car got a flat tire. The police union says seven officers were forced to act quickly and fire their weapons after they believe the suspect pulled out his gun. His sister tells us she doesn't believe her brother would have actually hurt someone and that he got desperate over some troubles the family had been experiencing lately. She says their father was in the process of being deported to Mexico and the family was needing money. For the house, for the bills that we can't afford right now to pay. Since I have other siblings, they're younger, and he didn't want them to suffer. But if he wanted to shoot at them, he would have. He didn't do it. And it was no necessary to shoot at a kid seven times. It was unnecessary. He was a good kid. He did everything for his family. This is just unbelievable what's going on right now. According to police, Santiago was pronounced dead on the scene and a firearm was recovered from his vehicle. His sister tells us she has no idea where he would have gotten a weapon from. None of the officers were injured. They are expected to be placed on administrative duties for the next few days. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating as a standard procedure. Reporting live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Oralia Ortega, CBS 4 News Tonight. <laughs>